Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different style video and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I actually asked you guys over on my Instagram if this is something you guys would like to see. So today's video is going to be all about some nails. Now I don't do nails, I am not a nail professional, just want to throw that out there as a disclaimer. I honestly have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to nails, but these are so self-explanatory and honestly so so simple i'm kind of mad i have not tried them out sooner today we're going to be testing out the kiss impress nails these are at home press on nails so if you can't leave your house to go get your nails done or anything like that these are honestly the best option i tried them out last week for myself and i was blown away by the results i like i said i'm so mad that i have not tried this sooner these ones are press on nails and this is the manicure style so as you can see they're not like long tips or anything they kind of just look like natural nails, which is so up my alley lately But they also have some tips and like longer stilettos and you know coffin shaped nails and all of that too So this is an awesome drugstore Alternative to getting your nails done. I'm so obsessed and the best part is they are literally Seven dollars eight dollars at your drugstore at Walmart. It is so incredible These are press-on so it does have a little sticky adhesive you go ahead and peel off the backing press it on and you're good to go. But I do like to add a little bit of my own tips and tricks in there, which you'll see in a few seconds, but I do add a little bit of some nail glue to get it on there and your nails are looking good for about a week and a half, almost pushing it to two weeks. I just had another set on for about a whole week or so. I did rip them off because I was doing some work, but I'm pretty hard on my nails, so that's why I recommend the glue you guys like I'm blown away I'm so mad that I've not tried this sooner like I said so I know it's so simple and this video I was kind of going back and forth with doing just because it is so simple there's only a few steps but that's the best part so if you are not on the bandwagon I highly recommend it so if you guys want to see me apply these to my nails then let's go ahead and jump right on in all right guys, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to lay out all of your tools that you're gonna be using. Today I'm gonna to be using the Kiss Impress Press-On Manicure Nails. I picked mine up from Walgreens and they have so many different options to choose from, so many different colors, sizes. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to have a nail filer on hand just so you're able to file down your own nails and then it comes in handy when you wanna file and trim down any edges on the fake ones. I'm going to be using some cuticle oil just so we have nice soft cuticles and everything looks super fresh. And then I'm going to be using the Kiss Precision Glue to go ahead and add a tiny dot to each one of these. Now although they do have the adhesive backing, which works great, for me I'm a little hard on my nails so I want to make sure we have that extra hold. So a tiny dot of glue will do just the touch. So I'm gonna start off with filing up my real nails using this nail filer, any nail file will work. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the tops of them very gently as well as kind of just shaping the bottoms and I do have really short and like stubby nails. I do not like them. Um, they, they're kind of brittle just because of all of the nails I used to get done when I was younger. All the tops just to get any excess glue or anything that was left on my nails off and then just do a little bit at the bottom of my nail just to kind of shape the bottom. So next up, inside the little packet comes a little alcohol wipe, which you're gonna go ahead and wipe down your nails with, and then a little wooden stick and a little baby nail filer as well. And they come with these little instruments, but of course you can use your own, but I actually do wind up using all of them. So pretty helpful that it came in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off with that wooden stick just to push back my cuticles. I will be going and using my own cuticle oil just a tiny bit on my cuticles just so it makes it super soft and kind of like, you know, loosens it up and it's easier to push back and I just go ahead and use that slanted edge of this wooden stick just to push back the cuticles just a little bit Thank you. 
So once I have that all down, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the package with all the nails and kind of lay out and fit all the nails to my nails just to see what's going to work. And they all have different numbers on them so you can follow it like that and then match it up for your other hand, which I find is pretty helpful. But I just like to honestly just like lay it down on my fingers and measure it that way. It does have this little sticky tab that you see at the front and that's what's going to be pressed against your cuticle. So keep that in mind, it's a more of a softer edge and it kind of just pushes back into like the skin and cuticle area really nicely and makes them look super, super natural. There's not even like the slightest hint that these are fake. I'm telling you, they work so phenomenal. And then I just go ahead and measure all of the nails and then lay them down in front of me so I can see what I'm working with. But basically everyone's nails is gonna be different and you wanna make sure that you are not seeing any of your real nails obviously when you're like measuring. So that's how you know that it's a perfect fit. You don't want it hanging over too much or you know, showing too much of your real nail or anything like that. So it, you'll know it's a perfect fit when it just kinda hugs right into your cuticle area and you see none of your nail. Then I'm gonna be using a little alcohol wipe that did come in this kit just to wipe down my nails and I'm just gonna be doing this very lightly on both hands. And then I will go ahead and take off the sticky backing and press it down on my nail. Now that's the optional part where you can either you just use the sticky adhesive it comes with, or you can add a touch of glue just to have an extra hold, which is what I like to do. I just find that it lasts a lot longer for me. So what I like to do is push pretty far into the cuticle because it is really soft, so it's not like you're hurting yourself by any means. So I do really just push it back into there and then press down after I've pushed in, if that makes sense. And then I do like to hold it down for about five seconds on each finger. I mean, you can of course hold longer, but because there is glue on there, it really just sticks pretty like instantly. Look how natural that looks. Like I'm seriously blown away at how great it looks. I'm obsessed and these ones are matte, which I find really cool. Like I said, they have different styles, colors and everything. So I just love that you can play around and do it right from home. I never thought to do this, <laughs> I love it. Then I take a little filer that did come with it and kind of trim the edges a little bit and just get it to my liking. And I just go ahead and repeat that entire process of mapping out on all of the fingers, then peeling off the backing, adding a dot of glue and pressing it on and then shaping it to my desired shape or just file it down just a little bit. And I repeat it on all of the nails and that is it. That is literally how I do my at home nails. Like I said, I just discovered this like last week to two weeks ago. So it is new for me, but I'm obsessed at the results and I highly recommend for you to check them out. It is amazing. So we're just gonna go ahead and repeat it on all 10 fingers. These have held up so well in the shower, just washing your hands, doing all of that, all the work that I do on a daily basis with regular acrylic nails or when I get them done at the salon, honestly, you can do while having these on. I find no issues at all. Like I said, I do like to add a little bit of the glue. If I didn't use the glue, I did notice they were popping off a little bit sooner than I would have with the glue. So just keep that in mind, but you can just use the sticky backing and be good to go. Just remember to push up into the cuticle when applying and it looks the most natural. And I'm telling you, you're gonna be getting compliments on them. <laughs> Once I filed any of the corners and just filed it to my liking, that is honestly it. That completes this video. That completes your nails at home. It is so inexpensive, so cute. And of course they have so many different options so you don't have to get the manicure version. This is just what I've been doing and I love it. You guys will probably see me rock these like so many more times. Honestly saves you so much money if you think about it from getting your nails done to $8 nails at home. Like you can't beat it. So good. I just wanted to share with you guys how I've been doing it in case you can't go get your nails done as well. I'm gonna now do my other hand off camera and I did actually forget to add the accent nail on there. So I'm taking one of these little sparkly accents and putting it on my other hand, on my other ring finger. So it looks actually really cool. It kind of looks more elegant, I feel, just like on one finger. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be I will have these linked down below for you guys, so be sure to check there. And if you guys tried them out, send me some pictures on Instagram. I would love to see your nails. I've already gotten a few from you guys sharing. I am so obsessed with them. Honestly, feel like they look better than the salon sometimes. Like, okay, I was sleeping on these. 
I know this was super simple, but I hope that it was helpful for some of you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.